my child has become more confident, more articulate, and he just loves coming here. She's definitely developed more confidence with people she doesn't know. Um, she was always quite confident at home, but certainly outside you now. She, over the holidays actually, presented at a concert. She was one of the people introducing, and she would never have done that a year ago. Uh, I think that this experience for Aaron has been very positive, and if school was more like this, he might be a bit happier at school. Um, he quite often says that he's bored, but I've never heard him say he's been bored at Children's Parliament, ever. Um, Jeremy has Asperger's syndrome, and so he sometimes finds it difficult to interact with other children, but this has been very good for him. In the last year she's been involved in the Children's Parliament and she's so much more confident and it's really good to see, really good to see. She's had a great time and it's, I mean, today's been lovely for, you know, parents and friends to come along and help them and join in and it's been really fun. I was finding that when we were consulting with young people, it was when they were 14, 15, 16, and I felt it was far too late. By that point, they were disengaged, they were inhibited by adolescence, and it was just too late for having meaningful uh, consultation. So when the opportunity came along to do this with the Children's Parliament, it was trying to work with young people through the creative arts um, consult to consult like with them at a much younger age. Right to do what's right. right. There aren't many people working in this way with under-14s and for us, the Office of the Commissioner for Children is an excellent way for us to have um, ongoing access to children and be able to have a meaningful relationship and get meaningful information from them about topics that are really important to them in their lives. Well, I feel the benefit for something like this for our own community has been that the, I mean, the children have moved up the agenda and realising that actually they have a voice in their community and they have something to contribute. So I think through this, through the Children's Parliament, it's raised the profile that children as young as eight can be consulted on um, and that they can give views and opinions and really good suggestions of how to improve things for their community. Because there's so few people actually working with children under 14 and actually integrating that with a rights-based approach, that's what makes this completely unique. I think what's really important about it is that the approach is child-centred. This isn't children solemnly sitting down and aping the way we do things in the, in, in the, in the real grown-up parliament. This is children approaching um, what they want to say in their own way, through art and drama. And that's what's so exciting about the, the, the presentation, what they're saying about themselves in this gloriously expressive and colourful way. It's such an important issue right now is empowering children to make sure that they take on the full notion of citizenship and how that they don't feel powerless, that they think actually if I have an idea or a desire or a complaint if you like about the way society is run, eventually I'm going to be able to change that. And if you don't really sort of really batter that home now, you know, you might end up with apathetic adults again and we're just going to go to hell in a handcart. So as you can see from this amazing exhibition, there's no lack of original ideas and passion and really original thinking so that's what we want to tap into and to make sure the children hang on to that and expand it and develop it so they can really take part in making a better Scotland. The Children's Parliament they let you know what is going on and they let you know that you do have rights and there is there we can help change the world that isn't all down to like 
Tony Blair and everyone. In school you are told what you do, but in the children's parliament you have a say of what you do. When I started, I didn't really, but I hadn't really told Dad that's what I think. Like, I haven't thought of that really, about having your say as well. And it's like changed. What's changed about it? Um, I'm like more confident in speaking. And I know that you should have a say as well now because it's important for everyone to hear what you think and everyone to have a say. When I'm an adult, I'm going to intend to listen to my sh children. I'm not going to give them a row until they explain what they've done. I'm going to listen to all their ideas. I'm going to make sure they have a good childhood. We've learnt a lot through Lauren. I think all the all the family have, and uh, I think she's had a whale of a time. So I think it's very positive. It's made me think to 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 listen to her more and value her opinions and everything more. So yeah, which has been really good for me. Yep. Much happier being included in the children's panel. I'm glad that I was chosen for it, and I'm, glad, I'm very lucky to have been chosen. Chosen for it. Do it. Just join. Like there's the website. You go onto it and at first you think, oh, it's going to be boring, but it's not. Changes your life forever. I hereby declare the Children's Parliament now open.